they took to the streets once again to support their president, a man they want to see finish his four years in office. They're planning to come out here to defend his legitimacy in the face of opposition protests. But for many, the struggle is not only about President Morsi. I'm here to protect legitimacy and Sharia. This is about Islam or no Islam. They want to destroy Islam. If President Morsi leaves, there will not be another president in Egypt for the next 100 years. No one will stay for more than 48 hours. Much of the anger is also against the Muslim Brotherhood. Protesters say Morsi has only catered to his group since he was elected. Here the crowd is more inclusive. Cops and Muslims stood side by side and chanted, we are all Egyptians. Both camps see this as the final showdown, as President Morsi has failed to bridge the ever-widening gap, leaving many Egyptians concerned that the country could be heading towards a civil war. The Muslim Brotherhood wants to control all parts of the state, she told us. They want to fully control Egypt. In a defiant speech, President Morsi rejected the military's ultimatum, saying he was elected in free and fair elections. If the cost of legitimacy is my life, he said, I will pay it gladly. In Egypt, the military is now warning the country's president, we will intervene in the political crisis if you do not reach an agreement with the protest leaders. And you have two days to get it done. Shepard, these are by far some of the largest protests we've seen in Egypt in the past two years. Now, the opposition groups have called on the military to intervene and protect some of the protesters to keep the violence at a minimum. Um, but it's not clear if the opposition leaders really want the military involved in politics. The military has long disliked Mohamed Morsi and the Muslim Brotherhood, and the army, along with opposition leaders, share one goal, removing Morsi. But the military also wants stability for Egypt, while the opposition wants new elections. So if the military does intervene in the next 48 hours, the opposition may not get what it wants. The next 48 hours could bring stability, it could bring chaos, but Shepard, it will certainly not bring a conclusion to the ongoing political crisis in Egypt. We're going to turn now to that explosive situation in Egypt. The president there, Mohamed Morsi, going on television last night, defying the military's ultimatum for him to step down. It's now just hours away from that deadline, and the streets of our key U.S. ally now once again on the brink of chaos.
With millions taking to the streets protesting against the nation's Islamist president Mohamed Morsi, Egypt's military took to the airwaves. We will freeze the Constitution temporarily. The Chief Justice of the Supreme Constitutional Court will be sworn in in front of the General Assembly of the Court. Tears erupted among the millions of protesters who were demanding Morsi's ouster. It was the fourth day of the biggest anti-government rallies ever seen in the country. The military's actions, replacing Morsi with the Chief Justice of the Supreme Constitutional Court, calling for early elections and suspending the Islamist-backed constitution were immediately called a full coup by Morsi. Morsi's Islamist supporters have vowed to resist what they call a coup against democracy and have also taken to the streets by the tens of thousands. For the second time in two and a half years of political upheaval, the powerful army appears to be in control. But this time, ousting Egypt's first democratically elected president, making the move potentially explosive. At least 39 people have been killed in clashes since Sunday, raising fears of further bloodshed.